December Daily Friends, Ashley Anderson here. Today I'm going to show you day seven, eight, and nine in my album. I am a little behind on the album, which I anticipated happening, and that's totally okay. Um, just as a quick recap, here's day one. It was this fun little shaker page. Day two just had a, a family photo on the back. Or, um, sorry, that's still part of day one. Day two was my uh, reason why, and this little thing comes off and it opens up. And I have videos of all of these up until day seven on my YouTube channel. Day three was 10 things that I'm looking forward to and I still need to sit down and finish that part. Day four was our wishing for page. So the things me, my husband, my son, and our dog are wishing for this year. Day five was to talk about cozy and that was kind of the theme that I went for in this little section on the couch and being able to see the tree. Day six, was our wrapping paper that we're using this year. And here we are to day seven. Now for day seven and day eight, I wanted to document some of my decor and the Christmas tree this year. So here's the front for day seven. I just made this cute little slide out here that when you turn it up, like pull it out here, it'll have some journaling up here that talks about how I, I love decorating our Christmas tree. It's one of my favorite things at Christmas time. And just talking about how it brings me so much joy and that my Christmas tree this year is probably the fa my favorite one I've ever done. So for this little thing, I just stuck it in upside down. So whenever you pull it out, you can read the text right side up and you don't have to turn the album. Put a little jingle tab on here so it's easy to pull out of there. We have the number seven. This is a just a black chipboard piece that I glued down. And then I stuck these together on here with a brad. And then I took a couple of circles one on this side, one on the next page to make a fun little tab that you can grab a hold of to flip over. And when we flip it over, this is actually a part of day seven. So this is to highlight the Christmas tree this year. And some of my decor, I seen this cute little circle um, page on Pinterest. It was similar to this. And I was like, man, I really want to create that. I thought it looked super cute. So I got on Allie Edwards and I purchased her digital circle stamps that she had. I think they were from... I think it was 2020 when they come out. So I, I purchased those and then I used Canva to create these. So the circles that have the photos are photo circles inside of Canva. And I just dropped some photos in there and then I used the circle stamps, printed it out on some cardstock and stuck it in here. This is another, this is a like a vellum type deal uh, tree circle that is adhered to the December story circle to make that little tab that sticks out. And then over here on the tree, I just stuck a die cut circle that says, love these moments, they bring such joy. My Christmas tree this year is definitely my favorite. It's just so full. I finally, finally convinced my husband to let me get a fake tree this year. We've had the tradition of going out and letting our son pick out a Christmas tree, but I wanted to be able to get it up before Thanksgiving especially this year the way that my work schedule was so I'm really really glad that we did that I miss that tradition this year it's fun to go out and to have those family photos of us at the tr Christmas tree farm and picking out those trees and stuff but I still think it turned out really really cute maybe this is, this will be a new tradition or maybe next year we'll be able to go out and pick out one maybe for like our son's room or something so that tradition can still be alive it just didn't happen this year and that's okay and then we flip it over here on day eight Inside of Canva, I just took four photos and put them on a grid. Um, these are some more of my decor pieces. So this is my tiered tray that sets on my kitchen table. Some of my gnomes that I have sitting around. I did the bottom of our Christmas tree here and I put a couple of digital stamps on there. So this one here says, Christmas spirit is alive, bring on the joy. And I have some digital star stamps there. And then day nine, Day nine actually happened in November. So just to kind of let you guys know, like not all of my stories, like this didn't actually happen on December the 9th. This was early on in, did I actually date it? No, I didn't, but this was early on in November when this story happened. So with this story, we went to this little kind of antique shop here in our town. It's called Nana's House. And it reminded, reminded me of going antique shopping with my mom and my grandma when I was younger. Um, it's like this, this little old house and when you walk in each room and there's like a ton, ton of rooms because it's an older home and back in the day, like for some reason, there was a, a bunch of little rooms inside of the older houses, right? So 
you go into all of these rooms and every single one of them was jam-packed full of Christmas decor and I loved it. It just, I mean, it brought back so many memories. You know, unfortunately, my grandma's not here anymore. So it was really, really nice to be reminded of that. So I uh, took a picture of this ornament that I got from there. I printed it out. And when I did it, I did it as a seven, um, what is this album? This album is a six by eight. So I actually printed it out as a six by eight, but I didn't compensate for having enough room for the whole. So when it was in here it was super short it didn't even have this green side over here and I was just gonna leave it that way as you can see I took a piece of clear plastic and I just sewed it onto the plastic is just sewed onto the photo it's not sewed onto this green part but I didn't realize whenever I did this because I did this back in November I didn't realize it was gonna be this short and I wanted it to be a full page like the rest of the pages are so I added this page here to it and um, just stuck it all the way across the back of that photo just for my next day there for day 10. Um, yeah, day 10. I already have day 10 done. I'm kidding. I said earlier I was going to work on day 10. Didn't realize I had it done. Anyways, so this is just a piece of cardstock. This is a photo. This is a piece of plastic that I sewed on. I have a couple of stickers from Ali Edwards and a cute little star down here. A couple of chipboard pieces. And then here where it says number 9, this actually pulls out and this is one of my other favorite ornaments from our little trip and um, this is my cute little gnome that I got and I just stuck this to one of the little uh, cards that either come in the main kit or one of the mini kits from Allie Edwards and I just thought that was really cute it's just like a secret little pocket inside of there that's hidden with this cute little tag that you can just pull it out and then this little guy so I got on um, Etsy and I found an SVG file of this little moose and then I used Procreate on my iPad to color him in. So I got on the iPad, sat down, colored him all in and then I printed it out and I cut it down into a card. And then on the back of the card I printed out my story about going antique shopping with my grandma and how um, these memories brought those back for me. Anytime that I print something like for a card or something like that, the way that I do it is I will print a test run and then like for example let's say that on here say my text is right here in this little section and I've already printed it out I will take this and I will tape it down over top of that and kind of line it up where I want and then I reprint it so it'll print just on here and then I can take it off and use it that way so just a little tip for you guys if you guys are wanting to know how I print on those things and this little guy he's a little moose and I wanted a moose because it matches him and he's a cute little moose and I just thought it was a cute little piece to have in there one of my favorite stories um I really liked it I really liked the memories that had brought back of being a child so that was day nine and then apparently I have day 10 finished I didn't realize this um almost finished I should say day 10 I decided to make it a recipes page so here I printed this out this is my mom's famous pumpkin rolls every year this was actually at Thanksgiving time when she made made these for us um, but every year at Thanksgiving time she makes like 10 or 12 pumpkin rolls I get a couple of them you know we've got cousins and family and friends and stuff that always want our pumpkin rolls because they are delicious and I just wanted to put her recipe in here and then one of the things that I make is a really good peanut butter pie so I just need to print that out on here and then what I'm gonna do my mom will probably make us pumpkin rolls for Christmas I forgot to take a picture when she made them for Thanksgiving but if she makes them for Christmas I will have her uh, let me take a picture and I will stick it on the back of there so we have a photo of her pumpkin roll and then same thing for the peanut butter pie so I'll make the peanut butter pie because my dad and my husband love it and I'll stick that in there. And I thought this was just a super simple little page to create using these fun little tags. And then day 11, let me find my sheet. This is my little my little pan of <laughs> um, extra little things that I've cut out or haven't used yet inside of here that I wanna use. So and this is just an old baking dish. You guys can see it looks rough, but that's okay. It still works good. Anyways, day 11, so I've kind of gone through and I've changed some things around. Day 11 is going to be stockings, and I finally got the stockings hung. I'm so excited for it. I had a um, long story, but I'll tell you really quickly. I'll shorten it up. I had went to Hobby Lobby, bought a couple of floating shelves to hang up beside this mirror that I have in my living room. 
the shelves would not hang flat so they would like hang at an angle and everything would like slide off so I took those back had to fix the holes in the wall had to um, resand everything and paint the wall so it's just been a process but I finally got new shelves got them hung up and got the stockings hung up so that's gonna be day 11 which day 11 will go here and I'm, I'm gonna tell, I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I'm gonna tell the whole entire story about that entire process and how kind of frustrating it was just to get three stockings hung up. But I wanted to get the shelves hung up anyway so I could put um, some decor up there year round. But day 11 will go here. Day 12 is my son's advent calendar. And this was, I learned this idea from one of Allie Edwards' classes. It was like, what was it called? Triangles, textures, and something else it was like three t's i don't remember what it was called i will link it down below but it's a really good really good class um it this isn't the only thing that they taught inside that class there was a bunch of other different design ideas but i thought that this was really cute the girl that created i think her name was megan don't quote me on that i could be completely wrong but she actually was using it for her and her husband's advent calendar and i was like you know what i'm making levi an advent calendar this is perfect so these little um, diamond shapes will open up and each day for his advent calendar I will take a picture of what he had got I will print it and then I will stick it inside of here for his advent calendar to document that and I may stick something in the center here to kind of journal about it a little bit but this I I did this as a foundation page and I'm so thankful that I did this was very very tedious but so worth it but I won't come back to this until after probably after Christmas honestly um, I'll come back in, get those photos printed out, put them in here, and figure out a way to do journaling. And as far as that goes, that's everything that I actually have completed in here. I have some other page ideas in here, but haven't used them yet. Not really for sure how I'm going to use them. But for now, that is day 7, 8, 9, and 10. Apparently, I forgot I had done number 10. Um, but be watching because day 11 will come up soon and we will work on creating that stocking page here. It'll probably be something super simple, but this is, this is my December daily days so far and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm so glad I found out about this, you guys, like genuinely excited about it. But if you have questions, seriously, don't hesitate to ask. I'm happy to help and I will see you in the next video.